the worst couples ever. Uh, this is actually uh, never go, man. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again, and let's draw some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. And look, who's my favorite clip will be at the end, guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely not good either. Apparently, we have this guy, he ends up complimenting this woman by the way she was dressed. I guess she was dressed super provocatively. She didn't like him at all. And I guess from the he ends up flipping out, I guess having a whole meltdown in front of everyone, cursing up a whole storm at this woman, and I guess at all her friends. Yo, weird. So this is where I actually disagree. You're an independent woman dressing up however you want to, but when a problem comes to you from other guys, you want other men to solve that problem. You knew the consequences of how you dress and what comes with that, but now you want men to solve that for you? It just kind of makes no sense to me. You women are all independent. You guys should be able to figure that out. Say hello and say hi. By the piano gallery. They want to act like I'm being disrespectful. But when I get out of pocket, I'm not the problem. It's weird. It's weird. Nah. When you hear about something about news, it's like, Oh, well, well, that's why, because you treat motherfuckers like you stupid. Like, I know all I did is be nice to you. That's how you act? So motherfuckers be nice? Yo, don't point, don't point, don't point, don't point, don't point. So why are you yelling? All I said was nice. All so I said was Stop talking to him right now. Tell me what the fuck and this next one's gotta get absolutely played, basically. I guess he ended up trying to fly out this Instagram girl. I'm not sure where from, but whatever. Let's just say, I guess she was able to redirect a flight to somewhere else and visit another guy. I don't know if that was even possible. I guess it was. And now this guy's demanding his money back, but we all know that's not gonna happen. I'm calling you out now, Margaret. I'm calling you out. If you are dating someone that don't have money to pay for your flight, you should stop doing that nonsense. Hey? What kind of girls do we have now? See, look at this picture on this my Look at this picture. This girl, I invited this girl. I booked flight for her. She redirects the flight to see another man. And now I'm calling her to return my money. If you're not coming to see me, return my money. She went to see. She's posting picture with, with another guy. With my own flight money. You know how much is flight. Now, Margaret, that's her profile. That's her picture. And that's her Instagram profile. If I'm giving you 24 hours to return my money, if it not return that money, I show with God Almighty, you you see what I will do to you. If it not return my money, I show, if it not return that money, I don't know what to tell you, Sha, but let me wait for you 24 hours, don't it? And this next one, I guess this guy decided to approach this girl at the gym. He wanted to be her sugar daddy. Finally, for once, this guy knows how to handle rejection and not like a creep. Am I open-minded for what? Arrangement. Arrangement? What do you mean arrangement? A sugar daddy? Yeah. No, I'm not interested. Yeah. You're, you're, you're Thank you. Anyway, I just wanted to ask you because I'm here for a couple of months. Yeah. It's okay. Thanks, though. Bye. And this next one's video is so simple. And I think men are just over-exaggerating. This guy just has to go down a list of what women just want. And to be honest, guys, I don't think it's that bad, right? I'm being absolutely sarcastic, by the way. At the end of the day, all they want is someone that loves them, 
cares for them, someone that shows them affection, someone that treats them right, someone that makes good money, someone that's at least six feet tall, someone that's smart, someone that's in good shape, someone that's charismatic, someone that's spontaneous, someone that's interesting, someone that makes six figures, someone that's at least six inches, someone that protects them, someone that looks after them, someone that's loyal, someone that buys them the new Chanel purse, someone that buys them jewelry, someone that takes them on cruises or on exotic vacations, someone that buys them cool cars, someone that lets them live in a nice house. Like, come on boys, is that too much to ask? <laughs> and this next we have this guy over here, I guess these girls are roasting him for playing video games. And he just starts going and ranting at them for why he likes playing video games. Listen, as long as your money's straight, you're working out, you have a healthy lifestyle, I don't see anything wrong with spending a couple hours, you know, playing your hobby. These are some boomer chicks I'm talking about, right? This chick was like, oh, ew, guy play four hour video game, f you, okay? I planned for three hours of video game, and then I lost a game, and I had to defend my honor, so I had to keep playing for another two more hours, okay? When you're on a losing streak, you gotta keep playing, okay? When a little boy call you a new f you destroy that little boy, okay? One me, one me, bro. One me, one me in 2K. One me, one me in League of Legends. One me, one me in Valorant. I will f destroy you, okay? Chicks don't understand this. Is anybody else really turned on right now? Yeah! <laughs> Did you see? Yeah! <laughs> What's more manly than defending honor? Nothing! Okay. In this next one, I guess this guy thought he was being really smooth in the beginning, but at the end, he kind of showed his true color. Hey, my girl caught me cheating. What should I do? I don't know, bro. No, I no. haven't cheated before. You never cheat? No. Oh, no. Uh, no. Press up to you. Yeah. So how do you stay lower, then? For the robots out there. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. And this next one is absolutely hilarious. I'm not sure how women didn't scream at this, but I guess this guy decides to approach these women with different names, and I guess they had no problem with it. Oh my God, look at what you, my tender friend, Snowflake by the Lake. Oh my God, Snowflake by the Lake. Oh my God, we matched up on no Tinder. I don't. You're Snowflake by the Lake from. Oh my God, it's my Instagram thing. Period. Pooty. Period. Pooty. <laughs> and this next one, this guy decides to reject this girl because, well, he just has a girlfriend. For some other reason, she was super surprised by this. Am I your type? Um, well, I've got a girlfriend, so I can't, I gotta, I gotta, I can't say. Oh, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Well, so I can't, can't get your number? No, fortunately not. <laughs> okay, I'll take the L on this one. A hug? You can have a hug. Yeah, I got a <laughs> side hug! <laughs> and this next one made absolutely no sense. She chooses to be a feminist over low gas prices. I'm sorry, but I'm taking low gas prices any day. Tech feminism or low gas prices? Uh, protect feminism. Protect feminism? It's that bad. Why? Because we have men that don't identify as men anymore. And you know what? As a woman, I'm pretty proud of who I am. And I don't want them taking that away from me. So would you say that like they're destroying what it means to be a woman? They're destroying the American family. They're destroying every shred of godliness that we have left in our society. And they're intent on doing it. I'll take the expensive gas. Let me be a woman. And this next one, it actually is pretty sad. Basically, we have this beautiful woman over here on the left. She ended up getting cheated on. And I guess this goes to show, guys, no matter how beautiful, successful, or famous you are, that won't stop you from getting cheated on. It completely depends on the other person. Have you talked about on your podcast publicly why your marriage kind of ended? There is speculation that there was potential unfaithfulness for this contemporary ideal perfect woman. It's like, oh shit, if she could get cheated on, like, we're all fucked. Duh. Oh, men are trash, ladies. Like, yeah. they, it, it doesn't matter who you are, how perfect you are, whatever. You do and this next one is definitely one of the best chat up lines, I guess. He even used it on girls, and I guess they really enjoyed it. What's your best chat up line? Um, how do you like your eggs in the morning? Scrambled or fertilized? Yeah, listen! How do you like your eggs in the morning? Scrambled or fertilized? <laughs> Let's go fertilized. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And this is actually once again with amazing grizz. This guy decides to do this in front of a girl, and she was absolutely bamboozled. Puff, your sister gets cheated on, so you take her to a bodybuilding show. She liked. And this next one, this clip did get a lot of controversy. I guess nobody really liked it due to the fact that this girl was just absolutely embarrassing herself in front of this crowd. And I'm like, why would you even do that? The clip is not even funny. Damn, look at that baddie. What are you talking about? Are you what? talking about them? What? No, babe, I'm talking about you. Oh, okay. 
Now, if I'm for the Rose clip on the list, guys, we have this woman over here. I guess she ended up getting cheated on and kicked out her girlfriend for this. Now, once again, guys, I always explain this, but why do you always cheat on the person that's literally giving you a place to live? You're taking such a big risk by doing that, and now you're homeless, and now you gotta figure out this problem. Would it have not just been better than just not to cheat? Or at least find your own place first, then cheat? I mean, I, this makes no sense to me. But yeah, she's absolutely having a huge meltdown. <laughs> Well, that's it for you guys so much for watching, guys, in the next one. Take care. Peace.